chill air with a hint of perfume and the dawn widening. In that light, diffused from pearly clouds and still blushing at the stretching sun, a wave or two of illumination washes over the field far below. Up between the stones and boulders they come, red and white and gold and palest lavender, flowers in bursting columns and rafts so dense they might support the glaciers which still hang like clouds themselves high on the valley walls. A bubbling rivulet of crystal water leaps from stone to stone, and the green buttresses of the blooms drink it up and nearly glow themselves as, decked with dew-like jewels, they fling back quivering light to bolster the brightening day.